Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got some more FCS Dynasty on NCAA Football 2006. We're going to be taking a look at the Northern Colorado Bears roster and their Season 1 schedule. And I will be breaking it all down for you guys right now. So let's get right into it and start taking a look at the offense for the Bears. We got a quarterback, Darrell Stats, number 11, athletic. Halfback, Eric Tavares, number 32, athletic. Another halfback, Darius Mitchell, number 34. He is 5'7", 217, raw talent. Fullback, Gavin Brady, raw talent, 6'2", 260. Howard Bresnagel, smart wide receiver. Tight end, Smokey Callahan, raw talent, 6'6", 280. Left tackle, Mike Heath, 6'7", 310 pounds, raw talent. And right tackle, Will Jefferson, 6'6", 330 pounds, also raw talent. And they have another lineman here, center, Sebastian Hernandez. He is 6'4", 305 pounds. I don't think this offense is going to have any trouble running the ball with three linemen, two halfbacks, and a fullback. They've also got a tight end. So Darrell Stats has plenty of targets to hand the ball off to or throw to. Um, their offensive line is just stacked. Their smallest lineman is 6'4", 305 pounds. That is a mountain of a man. Uh, Howard Bresnagel, the wide receiver, he's not going to drop too many passes. Uh, Smokey Callahan, the tight end, he's not the fastest in the world, but he's not slow either. He's going to outrun some of the players on any defense. And he's going to catch some passes as well. Pretty decent hands for a tight end. Gavin Brady, fullback. He can run, he can catch, he can block, he can do it all. Uh, Darius Mitchell, halfback, raw talent. He can do it all. He can pass block. He can catch the ball out of the backfield and run through the tackles. Eric Tavares, he's more built on speed. He's got some good strength, but he's not going to catch the ball out of the backfield as well as Mitchell. And Darrell Stats has a cannon for an arm at quarterback. And he's got good speed, acceleration, agility, and he can break some tackles as well. But that is it for the offense. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Northern Colorado Bears defense for Season 1. They go strong safety here with Bully Cooper, 6'4", 230 pounds, athletic. That is a beast at safety. And his twin brother, Deacon Cooper, is only 15 pounds lighter, athletic. And the head coach for the Northern Colorado Bears is Michael Topps father of Heisman Memorial Trophy winner Ken Topps out of Mississippi State. So the Bears don't really have anyone on defense. They've got both safety spots covered, but they have no corners, no linebackers, no defensive line. I think they're going to have a hard time stopping the run, and there's a lot of good running backs in the Pac-10 so far, so I think they might be in trouble this season. But hopefully their offense can put up enough points on the scoreboard to uh, get them a bunch of wins this year. But with only two defenders, I really don't see them winning a ton of games. But let's go ahead and take a look at their schedule and come up with a prediction for Season 1 and see how many wins I think they'll have. And this is probably the most brutal schedule that we have seen so far in the schedule breakdown videos as the Northern Colorado Bears start off the season against three ranked opponents. First, they travel to take on the number five ranked Colorado State Rams out of the Mountain West Conference. Game two, they host the San Jose State Spartans out of the WAC Conference. Game three, they travel to the Blue Turf to take on the number one ranked Boise State Broncos. And I do not like the Bears' chances in that game. But game four should be a win for the Bears as they host the Cornell Big Red out of the Big East. Game five, they start their Pac-10 football play against the Eastern Washington Eagles. Game six, they take on their first subscriber team, the UC Davis Aggies. That is a home game for the Bears. Game seven, they travel to Idaho to take on the Idaho State Bengals. Game eight, they go to California to take on the Sacramento State Hornets. Game nine, they host the Cal Poly Mustangs, another subscriber opponent. 
game 10. They travel to Southern Utah to take on the Thunderbirds. And that is the final subscriber team on the Bears' schedule. Game 11, they host the Portland State Vikings. And game number 12, they travel to Arizona to take on the Northern Arizona Lumberjacks. So going back and looking at the full schedule, I think the Bears are going to start the season 0-3, unfortunately. I just think only having two players on defense is really going to hurt them, especially against uh, teams that are ranked, because those are all of the FBS schools that are in this dynasty. I just don't see them getting a win out of any of those first three games. But they should beat Cornell. That should be an easy win for them. Uh, and then they start their Pac-10 play. And three of those games are against subscriber teams. And those games obviously could go either way. Since we're going to be seeing the computer play against the computer in those games. And I will be using every team against non-subscriber teams. And I have not played this game on Heisman in a few years. So who knows how that's going to go for me and my, my thumb and stick skills. But we shall see. Well, that is going to do it for this video, guys. Let me know in the comments section below uh, how you think the Northern Colorado Bears are going to do in Season 1. Do you think they're going to steal a win in those first three games? Do you think only having two defenders is really going to hurt them like I do? Just let me know your thoughts below, and I will comment back to you. Well, that's going to do it, guys. I will see you guys tomorrow. Uh, that will be the San Diego Toreros uh, roster reveal and schedule breakdown video. But I'll see you guys then at around 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Take it easy, guys.